Welcome to Lesson 8, Process and Create Solids, of the SDS2 Getting Started series. Process and Create Solids is a combination of the Process Selected Members command and the Create Solids for Selected Members command. You can run the Process and Create Solids by using the F5 shortcut key, or from the drop-down menu, or you can use the icon over here on the left of your screen. So what does Process and Create Solids do? It goes in and collects the data from setup, collects the data from the member. Then the system will go through and design and develop the connections. Once the connections are designed and developed, then the system will go through and create the solid material. Once that solid material is created, the system will then go ahead and apply the piece marks. That would be the major shipping marks and the minor marks to the member. I will now perform the operation by selecting my F5 key. As we see down at the bottom we can see that it's matching holes, generating bolts, and creating the solid data. Let's go ahead and zoom into this corner here. We can see immediately that the shipping marks have now been created for these different members. Now earlier I mentioned a couple of things about selection. I'm going to add to it one more right now. If you go ahead and you right click on top of a member, you can see that if I go into my select other, you'll see this new feature here that says all four B12 members because now the system has batched these members together. So I can therefore either edit or select all of those B12 members in one shot. Over here on the right of the screen we have what is called the model tree. By the way, if you like, you can always go ahead and collapse for more real estate and expand that model tree. Now, you'll see at the top you have an option to view by piece mark, member number, and with submaterials you can go down to the material piece mark level. Let's work with the member piece mark. Currently in this view, and yes, the view does affect how many members there are going to be seen on this particular uh, model tree. We can see that there are 37 beams, 13 columns, one horizontal brace, one joist, and three vertical braces. When I expand this, we'll see all of those piece marks. Now I can come in here and I can find a piece, for example, B underscore 12. I'll select the find option, which expands this list. Now, what's very important to understand is that this is reciprocal. So if I come in here and I select these members, I'm selecting them all in the model. Same thing functions the other way around. If I go ahead and select them over here in the model, we can see them selected in the model tree. What's very nice about this function is that I can go ahead and I can select and then do a right click zoom to fit to find some members. Okay, now let's move on because this is process and create solids. Once the process has been completed, if I edit a member, we'll notice now that in the upper right hand corner it will tell you that it is no longer marked for processing. Now, let's say I'm working in an area and I do want to mark members for process. All I need to do is go in either from the edit screen or I can select a batch of members from the drop down model member you're going to see that there is a tool here that says mark for processing which is also the shortcut key MK. Now the system has gone through and remarked these members for processing. As we can see up here in the B12 it says yes it needs to go back through process. I'm going to go ahead and run that process again. Now, we're going to go to solids in the next video, but right now I'm going to come in here and turn these members to solid. If a member gets marked for process, what will happen is it will be turned back to the stick mode. Once the process is done, the system will return it back to a solid. I will finish this on a critical note. If I were to come in and make a setup change to this particular item, for example, I'm just going to go in here and make a change to my 
design criteria. If I were to come in here and change this from 50 to 60 percent UDL, the system is not going to flag members for process. So whenever you do a setup change, you are required to mark the structure to go back through process and redo everything using the new setup change. Now again, you can perform that by going through your model member. You'll see there's an option here that says mark all members for process. This will force the system to go back through that entire process routine. I'm going to make a setup change here. I'm going to go into my fabricator settings and I'm going to my member and piece marking options. Notice that it says right here break major marks apart by sequence. This is going to force the system to break the different marks apart for the shipping marks by the sequences. Now currently we're all one sequence. I'm going to go to my roof, turn on or turn off my depth check so I can see everything that's in it and I'm going to change my sequences. Now I'm going to perform this by an area option. I can go into my model, go to member in the drop down list and you're going to see the different methods for the sequences. There's set sequence, repeat sequence, show sequence, and sequence by area. I'm going to use the icon for the sequence by area. I am now going to select all the members right click hit OK from the browse button I'll select which sequence I want to use hit OK and now the systems telling me hey these are 1A sequence do you want to change them to 2A I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK one more time let's grab a few more members here run this sequence by area command let's set this to sequence 3A go ahead and hit OK now it detected that some members are in sequence 1A and 2A. Both of those I want to change so that they're going to be 3A. So it's going to select all those members and change them into sequence 3A. Later on we're going to see a tool called status display that allows you to visually in color see the different sequences. I now would like to update all that data. So I'm going to go through model member and then move down to the mark all members for processing it's going to tell you do you want to do all these members I'm going to go ahead and say yes and then run that process again and this will force the system to go ahead and break members apart by sequence let's just finish this by leaving us in this isometric mode now you'll notice every time that I have to go in and remove that depth check. What I'm going to do is I'm going to resave that isometric mode with the depth check off. This way I can come back up here when I open it and that depth check is going to be turned off. I'm not going to have to turn it on and off. So depth check is saved with the view.